Hey guys, this is Anna Shadowick, and tonight I'm doing a video for day seven of Witchtober, which is fruit. For fruit, I decided to craft a candle. Um, it's a reproduction, kind of a different variation of a candle I've made in the past called um, the Malum Malice candle. Uh, the Malum Malice candle is inspired, it's another nerdy inspiration inspired by uh, the Netflix show The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. Um, in season one, she's kind of debating signing the Dark Lord's book or not signing it, and she doesn't know which one to turn because to sign it means she gets to embrace all of her powers and witchiness and all that wonderful, wonderful thing, all those wonderful things. Um, but she would then have to say goodbye to her human side and her human friends, and um, she also in in Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, uh, you know, it's Lucifer and, and um, you know, the, the concept of heaven and hell is a real thing. And so she's debating between that as well and kind of what, what does it mean to sign the Dark Lord's book and, and what would she be in for if she did such a thing. Um, and that really resonated with me. Not, not so much the do you sign the Dark Lord's book, but um, just the the... I think we all have had those times when we've had these choices before us and we're not sure which road to take and, and where to go and what to do. Um, and there's pros and cons to both sides and some of the cons are really bad and some of the pros are really good, but which, which outweighs the other. Um, and in the show, she is told by her cousin that, uh, Ambrose, that she can do a, ma she needs to find a mala malice, which is you find the oldest tree and pick an apple from it and take a bite and it should show you something it should give you a vision of what your future may hold um it's not not a guaranteed thing like the the vision might not be 100 percent and you know there might be bugs <laughs> in the apple so it's definitely not like something a lot of people did um but he's like hey if you want to try it try it and that hit me even more because I think sometimes it's like we know what's before us. We know the decision we have to make. I, I think sometimes it's, wow, life is really hitting me and it's really hard and I don't know which way to go and I don't know what to turn. I don't know where to turn. And other times it's, okay, I've got this choice or I've got this choice. And I don't know which one to pick. And so I wanted to create the apple inspired by, or the Malamalis candle inspired by the Malamalis in the show. Um, so for my video tonight, uh, again, if you want to see the finished product, check out Facebook and Instagram. Um, but what I thought I would run through is uh, our correspondences of the apple, because the apple is a wonderful, wonderful um, ingredient, item, material, what have you. Uh, it's a wonderful balance because apple can is a symbol of life but it's also a symbol of death it connects us to the ancestors but it also helps give us knowledge of the here and now so um i thought i would give some correspondences uh of the apple just for knowledge and such but i thought it also really showed the diversity that you can find in one thing it's like you can put apple apple seeds, apple scent, apple anything in various different candles in various different ways and it will mean various different things. It's all about intent and I think when you start looking at correspondences it really drives in that whole concept of intent drives the creation, intent drives the spell, intent drives the purpose and everything. Um, ingredients are great but it's what your purpose is for those ingredients that really matters. Uh, so for the apple, uh, these correspondences are from the Llewell Llewellyn's uh, correspondence book, like this big, huge, beautiful, golden book that was gifted to me by the lovely uh, Maria. I use it every day. I, I cannot tell you how often I use this book. I, I adore it. I finally had to download it um, onto my phone as well because there are sometimes I'll just be out and about and something will hit me and I want to know what the correspondence is and I don't have the book with me. So um, 
Apple. Uh, Apple is good for action. It connects to the afterlife. It aids with assertiveness, attraction, beauty, beginnings, bindings as well, uh, challenges. Uh, it aids with consecrations or blessings. It's good for creativity. It also connects to death. It helps with decisions, which was another reason why it was great for this candle specifically. Um, it helps with self-discipline, divination, dream work, uh, enchantments, faith, fame, fertility, friendships, generosity, goodness, happiness, harmony, um, healing, which is another, you know, an apple of the day keeps the doctor away. It actually does have connections to healing, which is a huge thing. Um, honor, innocence, insight, again, kind of going back to that decision-making skill. Um, knowledge, learning. Uh, knowledge and learning I thought was kind of funny because, you know, if you have an apple for the teacher and <laughs> things like when I read that, I'm like, oh, okay, that's kind of cool. Um, and of course, if you go back to like the Adam and Eve story, uh, she ate the from the tree of knowledge and it was an apple. So, that's a thing. Um, life, longevity, love, luck, magic, marriage, peace of mind. Um, it connects to the other world slash underworld with uh, the Celtic path. I Again, I, I feel like I don't, I, it might be a personal connection. I swore I read it somewhere and it stuck with me for uh, the northern path. Um, the Norse traditions, Apple's also connected to the underworld there. Um, I don't know, because most things I read say Celtic only, but for some reason I ha it's stuck in my head that that's a connector, and that's, it is one of the connectors I use when working with Hell as well. Um, and she's the Norse goddess of the underworld, or queen of the underworld, um, depending on who you talk to, in my mind, goddess. Um... They also help with peace, which makes sense for the peace of mind, um, as well as the astral work, the, the dream work, I should say. Um, power, purpose, rebirth and renewal, um, relationships, romance, uh, apples definitely, um, as much as I use them when I'm working with hell, I also do work with Aphrodite, and apples are major uh, connection to Aphrodite as well. So it's one of those things where you can have that night and day connection in one item. Um, Aphrodite is about love, about um, a, a lot of self-love. Um, that's how she connects to me, at least. Um, but love, happiness, uh, sensualness, seductiveness, things like that, uh, love and lust, are the primary ways that she's seen. Um, and then, of course, you have hell. <laughs> it's very much about... Uh, truth, shadow working, anything that uh, scares you, <laughs> confront it now. <laughs> so they're the very polar opposite energies, but the apple connects to both of them. Um, where was I? Relationships, romance, uh, security, self-worth, again, kind of talking to that self-love um, aspect, sexuality, um, and sex. Uh, sh shamanic work. I, I really thought that was kind of interesting. Uh, sleep, connection to spirits. Uh, in Celtic mythos, it is the food of the dead. Uh, Samhain is the feast of apples, so makes sense that would connect to spirit work. Uh, inner strength, uh, stress. Again, it kind of goes back to that peace of mind, um, so it helps with the alleviation of stress. Uh, it promotes success, unity, wealth, well-being, willpower, wisdom, and youth. Um, I also kind of wanted to touch on the wisdom because it's connected to knowledge, but it also is connected to wisdom. Knowledge and wisdom, in my mind at least, are two very, very different things. But in this one item, you can connect to wisdom, which is kind of based off of experience and learned lessons and and, and things that kind of happened from the crone aspect of things. And then you have knowledge, which is kind of learned uh, things, which I always kind of think are more maiden and mother aspect, um, if that makes sense. So, yeah, that, is, that are all...
those are all the wonderful um, associations with Apple, at least according to the Lulu Islands uh, correspondence book. Uh, check that out if you'd like. I know I, like I said, I can't live without it. <laughs> I love it. Um, and all of those are, whenever you use an apple or eat an apple, all of that is kind of there. So focus on what it is you're wanting that to do. While I was working on the Malamala scandal, it was very much focused on the decision making, divination, uh, connection, yes, to the other worlds for guidance and, and aid, knowledge, wisdom, building upon those, those insights that can be given. Um, and as long as you kind of have that clear mind and that focus while you craft with these different items, I mean, it's incredible the places that that crafting can take you. So I, I hope this was interesting. Um, thanks so much for watching and have a great night. Bye guys.